And finally, European Union officials have reacted with silence after Minister for International Cooperation, Lady Pandor, accused some European countries of patronizing bullying regarding the response to the war in Ukraine. SABC News correspondent Rosie Bichard has been asking political figures in Brussels for their reaction to our minister's comments. During a press conference on Monday, Minister Pandor was asked about having to choose between Russia and China and the West. Now, the minister said that in some interactions with certain partners in Europe, there's been a sense of what she called patronising bullying. So suggestions that South Africa must choose to act one way or else. Now, the European Union and South Africa have diverged in their responses to the conflict in Ukraine. The EU has, for example, imposed several rounds of sanctions on Moscow, banning imports of Russian oil, Russian coal, gold, steel and other products, trying really to isolate the Kremlin. Now, South Africa has been calling for peace and the minister reiterated that. But Brussels would like to see South Africa more publicly condemn Russia and to align on sanctions. I asked the European Commission about the minister's accusations of bullying and officials refuse to comment. It seems they don't want to be drawn into a public debate with South Africa. But I've also spoken to some sources here in Brussels who say this division in viewpoints on Ukraine and Russia is of major concern to the European Union. EU countries are trying to work out how to counter Russia's influence across the African continent. They accuse Moscow of spreading misinformation. One tactic they're reportedly considering is linking development funding to alignment on foreign affairs issues. Rosie Burchard, SABC News, Brussels. And listening to the Minister Francis yesterday, very strong, mm -hmm. uh, you know, strong words. And uh, she really did indicate that South Africa is not going to be bullied, um, especially when it comes to choosing uh, on this particular conflict in what's happening in Ukraine.